Hello and welcome back. So, the lock I have today, um, I thought I'd take a look at another West Coast pick. So I pulled in, uh, reached in the bucket of his and uh, uh, pulled out this one. So this is an arrow. Um, there we go. See it on the key. Pinned by West Coast Picks. And <laughs> it's pretty clicky. Um, just kind of normal for his, uh, his locks. Here's the uh, fitting on the key. Uh, not nothing too drastic there, but that usually means that every pin has to be picked. So <laughs> let's put it in the vise and see what we got here. I am gonna wrap it with some leather to make sure I don't overdo it. Let's see. Let's double check, make sure, and it is locked up. All right, uh, arrow keyway. I should be able to use my fifty thousandths. Forty. There's my fifty. Yeah, there it is. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and I'm gonna try to use my gem. Don't think I'll have too many issues in that keyway. It's pretty wide open. Not like a lot of those euros we've. Pick. <laughs> it's nice and tight. Let's zoom in. That way you guys get a good view. If there's any kind of stuff going on there with all his crazy T pins, usually we see some good false sets. Um, I will go to the back of the lock and uh, search for a binder. Like, um, okay, I got to click that a four. I have his binding. A couple clicks out of him, I think. I may have overstacked him. I'm going to back off a little bit here. Okay, five, three, I think that was something, two, one, maybe two or three, I mean, I think I just overset, but we're going to keep playing and find out. Okay, um, I touched something and got a really deep false set there. Oh, and just got click off of three. Searching for counter rotation. Not finding counter. So I'm guessing T pin here. Gotta be in there somewhere. There it was. Somewhere in the middle of the lock. How about that? <laughs> All right. Uh, let's uh, get the pinning tray out and see what we got in this arrow. That's a fun pick. All right. Is that right there? Let's see here. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what kind of fun pins he put in this one. Uh, clip on the back. <laughs> a fun clip on the back. Oh, wow. Okay, that's an interesting clip on the back. It's got a nice little um, um, 
shape on it there to help you out get that off it's an interesting oh i think i just yeah i locked it back up but i do have a key so um wow that's interesting i've never seen a clip but it just flew across the room so we will uh, pick that up in a minute and uh go ahead and use the key to cut this <laughs> Wow. All right. Uh, it's one of those days. All right. Um, he pins her towards me. Let's see if my follower will work on here. Um, you know what? This is a West Coast fix. I should shim this because I'm pretty sure I felt the teeth in. Oh, boy. All right. All right. We got a shim in there. Key pins are up. Just like that. All right. Looks like we've got um, all six pins are in and working. Beautiful. So um, let's uh, dump these out and see what we got here. One is a nice serrated pin. Uh, two is a <laughs> um, kind of a spoolish towards the bottom there. Uh, wow. That's a, okay. Yeah, that's a nice uh, serrated pin as well. Um, there you go, some heavy serrations on that one. Come on. Wow. Okay. Uh, spool and serrated pin on that one. And another serrated on that one looks like uh two and four are threaded come on focus for me um, hopefully you guys are picking all that up let's see if i can do it this way Trying to use this light the way that I've seen other people do. And it's just, you know, it use a light from the bottom. But uh, my camera does not like that. So um, hopefully, hopefully we can just see it. Come on, focus. Wow, really? There we go. Come on. Getting any light in there so you guys can see that. There we go. Now you can see it. Nice sharp threads. Two and four. Okay. Sorry, wasted a lot of time on that, but um I'm trying to use these tweezers again. We'll see if they'll work. Oh, and I should mark the front of this, huh? Uh maka. There it is. There we go. Let's um Let's see if this works or not. That light is kind of in the wrong spot to be effective, so you guys can see in there. And oh, my shim's in the way. There we go. And one, a nice serrated pin. And the spring. And my magnetic tweezers now. After picking that one with the magnet in it. Uh, let's see here. Or magnets in it, I guess. That was in there like that. And it is a pin and pin, of course. Didn't check that one, but I'm pretty sure. There we go. And the next. Well, let's go ahead and get the spring out. And the next one is <laughs> I think it's another pen and pen um no oh crap spring out drop the pen uh, where did he go he went flying here's the clip see if I can find the uh pen that went to fly in
areas. All right, and he was not a pin and pin. He was just a one, one pin, uh, and just had a key pin on the bottom. <clears throat> All right, where are we at, guys? Sorry. I'm going to use my other tweezers. This is not working out for me with those tweezers. Um, great idea, but just is not working out. Okay. In um, next chamber, I saw the way he came out. He was like that. And spring. That. Oh, he was a pin and pin that spring out on him and last but not least in five lying out of there a standard of course all right and fell out right there okay so that pin and pin was upside down that there we go uh up in the bible there is no threading it's smooth so the only threading he did was in two and four on this one um zoom in give you guys a close-up of pins um because they are amazing as usual Let's see here and one I had a serrated uh, key pin and serrated driver and two I had a um, kind of a serration on the bottom of that made the ball of the pin there uh, in the top uh, for the uh, key pin we had a pin and pin serrated um, for the uh, third one we had a serrated uh, and a T pin spool uh, in uh, Four, we had a serrated and a serrated spool for the uh, driver. Um, in five, we had a serrated spool, uh, yeah, serrated spool key pin, which is upside down there. Let me turn that around. There we go. Uh, serrated spool in the key pin and a pin and pin T pin. And the reason why I call it that is, is because once this pin goes through the collar. As you can see, it steps, that little nub steps out. And so that call makes it a pin and pin T pin, and it's also serrated. So, um, yeah, it's kind of uh, just absolutely awesome design there. Um, definitely makes it harder to pick for sure. Can't get it to come apart now, um, at least not with my hand. Anyway, and on. Uh, the uh, fifth one, we had a, looks like a T-pin, key-pin, and a standard uh, driver. Thank you guys for uh, watching. Thank you, West Coast Picks, for an awesome lock, and don't break the law.